everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season one, episode five of Life Unexpected. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. So last episode, Lux got in a bit of trouble at school for giving that bong lamp to her friend because the school found it in her friend's locker. And so Kate was trying to rectify the situation because she got suspended by giving the head teacher Lux's case file. But one of Lux's friend group got a hold of the file and like spread it all around the school. This letter that she wrote to Santa about wanting a family, which was so mean. Was there any need? Like just tell the friend that she lied. Don't even, you don't need to tell the whole school about that. That's so, oh, high school kids are just terrible. And Lux was mad because she blamed Kate for a lot of it for trying to fix Lux's situation for her when she was fine with the suspension and like it led to everything that happened. So she got her own back by outing Kate and Ryan's relationship at an event they were holding. So now their whole radio audience knows that they're a couple and they're now getting a lot of hate for it because they were lying the whole time. I don't understand why they had to lie, except for like, if this is their brand, like just being these cynical people. But like, I don't really think they should get hate for lying about it because people play characters all the time. At the end, Lux had a conversation with <sighs> Faze's friend with the glasses. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. He was like, we have finished the end of your letter and like her letter was saying how she doesn't need the perfect mum and dad. She just wants a mum and dad who will love her and who try. And that is what they are doing. Kate and Faze are trying, even though they're getting things wrong, but everyone gets things wrong in parenting, in life in general. I mean, Lux isn't perfect herself. Like she isn't the perfect daughter by any means, but they're all trying to, trying for this little family that they have. This show literally screams 2000s with its opening and stuff. I love it. Keep walking, Fawn girl. Foster free. Oh my God, shut up. Turns out lying about my entire life and getting busted at school. Not the best way to make friends. Shouldn't be bullied for it anyway. Nice snort. You know, bikes? Who the heck yeah. is this? Hey, you're the girl who sold her in the bong lab. Yeah, sorry, it got confiscated before she gave it to you. No worries. Gave me some leverage. So, thanks. Oh my god, they're gonna be a thing. She's now gonna steal that girl's boyfriend. <laughs> Forget that. Tasha and I have a surprise for you. Really? What? We'll find out tomorrow night. I'm picking you up at seven. Okay, maybe Bug isn't so bad. I literally shit on him all over every episode he's in, but like. Four best other high school student there is right now. We should be in a vet place. Put some money in the bank. That's why we're here. It's a good idea. No more mm. eating competitions. It's a good like idea. That. Everyone treats me like I have the social bird flu. Except for this guy, Jones. But he's they should be mad at her lying, just but they shouldn't make fun of her upbringing. Football? Quarterback. You get in good with this Jones guy. Damn. School's your oyster. Hmm. Well, when you stop losing, I'll stop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Their relationship is so cute, but they just left all their food behind. Hello, waste. You know, this is the third night in a row that you've hung out with them. We had fun. Well, kind of like when we went window shopping for handbags. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Katie needs to loosen up a fun. little. <laughs> fun. Window shopping. Hell no. It was on our first date. She said something sweet. Rare, I know. And, uh, well, she put her hand on mine. And I felt it. That connection. Aww. That charge. There we go. This is the open honesty the viewers wanted. Sound about right, Kate? Here's a question. Why is there a premium on fun? <laughs> Ruined the moment. He just gave that heart spell speech and she doesn't care. They want to live vicariously through you. Zany, slutty, boozy Kate. Just get back in there and don't get us fired. Happy birthday to me, by the way. All oh. I got was a slanket from my husband, frozen yogurt coupons from my stepkids, and a best friend who forgot. I didn't forget. Yeah, you did. I totally got you something. What? A trip window shopping. <laughs> If you want a party, I've got a place. Seriously? Yeah. 
My dad has a loft over his bar on Third and Clover. You, you oh my god. His face is not yeah, going to allow that, that surely. He used to be quarterback too. Rent two weeks early. I know you had some concerns about me opening this place, but I just wanted to show you, Dad. I'm figuring things out. Uh, Go on, two I weeks early as point. well. Can I have some friends over to the loft tonight? Friends from school? The jock? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, she said some friends. It's gonna be a party. As her father, you don't ask one leading question? It's a parenting choice. Unlike you with me, I actually trust my kid. Wow. Your parental instincts are about as strong as your business model. Bit naive. <laughs> you gotta think before you do things. You got a brain up there? Use it. I've got a car. The bar locks. He doesn't have to be so harsh in his choice of words. Like, if he thinks he's making a mistake, he should say it in a way that, like, shows that he cares about his feelings. He literally just puts them down all the time. Do you want some money, you know, for some sandwiches or sodas? <laughs> you think Basie's got it covered? Kate's really trying to be laid back and Lux is just not taking it. Oh no, she was supposed to meet up with them. I feel bad for them. I hated them a couple of episodes ago. Um, because I'm not feeling that great. Yeah, there's something going around school. It's okay, go without me. I'll be fine. They're gonna turn up to Bezos with some soup or something and no, oh, they're gonna see the party. You psyched to have your friends over? Psyched is strong. Does slightly barfy count? It's gonna be great. I can't believe that Kate and Bays are so chill about her throwing a party. I thought they were both gonna go mad. Turtles! And they didn't cost a dime. I rescued them from the science wing. Thought they'd rather be here than surrounded by hormonal teenagers feeding them gummy worms. Oh, that's not good. Well, do they ever exert their energy like athletes do? Are they gonna perform under pressure? This one only has three legs. Ah, where's the beer? Oh. Didn't you bring your own? You said your dad owned a bar. I thought getting booze wouldn't be a problem. Of course there's no booze. He can't serve underage. <laughs> Can I have the store room key? Sure. He's not asking yeah. a leading Why? question. Okay, there we go. I need some chips and sodas for my friends. Or I can give them the expired milk and leftover sandwich in your fridge. Right. Okay. Okay. Just make sure your friends stay out of the booze. Okay. <laughs> He's a bit too trusting. This place? Well, the wine bar was so loud and crowded. This They're going there. My oh my god, we Kate. By. You heard about the trail races? What? I'll be at the bar. This poor woman. Locks. Feeling better? Oh god. Lying just doesn't work in any sense. You're not hosting a party that you didn't invite us to? What, you and Abercrombie, your buds now? I feel like an idiot. We actually brought you chicken soup and a Shaun of the Dead DVD. I knew it would be soup! <laughs> shove them down your freaking throat. Wow. Oh my god, he's drawn a lightning okay. bolt on it. That's Ready? amazing. Set. Go! Come on, Bob, let's do it up! Come on, Bolt. <gasps> oh my god! Guess I'll get more flies. Come on! We need a fourth for beer pong. Oh, yeah, no, I, I Oh my god. Okay. I'm in. Oh. All right. Go. I mean, I, it surprises me that they're on, being cool with it and not, like, gonna make fun of Lux. Yeah. That is one of the most embarrassing things I can think of. He said I could have people over. I don't need you policing the place. Why is everybody? I'm not the police. I mean, I am the old school monster truck. Up here, it goes right to your head, huh? Is it cool if we just, you know, hang? No! <laughs> Everyone here is half your age. No, it's not cool. What the hell is going on? Lying to me, having half your class here, trashing the place is bad enough, but sneaking a keg? Do you know how much trouble I could have gotten into? Why didn't you come and get me? I'm sorry. They reverse roles. That's it? You gotta think before you do things, Lux. Don't be stupid. You have a brain. Try using it. He's literally just reiterating what his dad said. Hey! Oh. He just stole his car. Her boyfriend stole my car. What? I'm calling the police. Don't, don't call the cops. We'll find them. 
You won't get into college like the rest of them. You've been to 13 schools, your grades are crap. I hope being a jerk to me is making you feel better. Tosh and I have always been there for you. You cut us out the first chance you get? You can be mad at her for like bailing on them, but I really like making fun of her grades and stuff isn't cool. Hey officer, this is all a really big misunderstanding. Ma'am, you are gonna need to take a step back. Officer, hi. <laughs> Oh, oh my whoa, god. Whoa, let's be cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Physical harassment of an officer is immediate grounds for arrest, hey, honey. Uh, hey, bro, there, there's no there's no need to be rough here. Jesus oh, Christ! Oh. So you literally can't touch a police officer? Oh my god, it's popping off now. Yes! Oh why am I so happy about it? Three-legged turtle. Not telling you about that party had nothing to do with you. It was me. I wanted to see what it was like. I'm ashamed of me. Oh. For wanting it. I get it, okay? Just don't leave me behind. She thinks of me like I'm her screw-up older brother. At least she respects you. She doesn't want anything to do with me. Kate, put yourself in her shoes. How would you feel if your mom crashed into your parties in high school? You think that Lux thinks of me as... as a mom? You are a natural. Oh, yeah! Me? I mean, I try to be your friend. I get punked, and then I yell at her like a jackhole. His father really came out in him there. You don't have to be your dad. You just have to be a dad. Yeah. yeah. Maybe your dad's kind of like me, stuck in this position he can't get out of. Stuck being bad cop, wishing that he could get a second chance. A gentleman just posted bail for you. Oh, thank God, it's Ryan. Oh, it's the dad. How about a reset? Do you want to just come in for a beer? Oh my God. It's getting late, I gotta get back home. He's not even trying, man. He's too stuck in his ways. At least you tried. Please don't sleep together again. Please don't sleep together again. Please don't do it. Hey, Ryan, what, what are you doing here? Uh, I got Lux's messages. God, I can't believe that you came all the way down here. Glad I did. Oh, did he see the handhold? I shouldn't have stolen that keg. I shouldn't have yelled. I don't want to be that guy when i told him that you were in jail first thing that he asked was if you were all right oh he loves you hey guys oh my god <laughs> couldn't sleep and i didn't want to disturb your mother so maybe i'll take you up on that beer after all i got it oh my god <laughs> that is oh my god so unexpected so how the turtle races go oh well that is um not as profitable as we hoped for, but oh, come on, Dad. I can still afford to buy you a beer. It's not for the beer. It's for the turtle. Ooh. And for a race. I hope he's Betty on Bolt. I'll take this three-legged one. <laughs> yes. Look for the underdog for a change. Why did that Loki make me tear up? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Damn, that was a sweet moment with Baze and his dad at the end there. Normally the wholesome family moment at the end is with the like main family, but I love that the dad was there. Oh, it's so nice. His dad has been so, he's been portrayed as this, you know, very stone cold and hard faced man who is trying to get the best out of Baze, but through putting him down, negative reinforcement basically. And he's just so set in his ways that he finds it hard to show any affection or love for him now. So this reset is needed for them, I think. Hopefully, like, it actually continues and they can work on getting a better relationship. Because 
no one wants to have a sucky relationship with their parents, do they? Lux throwing that party. I was wondering why Kate and Vase were so cool with it, but they didn't think about alcohol, which was a bit naive on their part. Like, they're teenagers, of course. If they're throwing a party, there's going to be alcohol involved. But they trusted her, or Baze trusted her, by letting her go into that storeroom. But he should have, he should have gone down there with her. That was naive on his part. And then he went mental when he found out, which... It was necessary, I think, because Kate and Baze have always been the opposite of each other. And it was nice this episode to see them trying to be the other version of that. And Lux did deserve to be shouted at. Some of the things he said were a bit harsh, like calling her stupid and stuff. But it's in the heat of the moment, so people always say stupid things. She did deserve to be shouted at for that though. She broke the rules. Her excuse was weak. She said she wasn't thinking, but yeah. She does need telling off, in a sense. So they need to... Kate and Baze both need to find that medium because Kate is so... She worries so much and she's so overprotective of Lux and she meddles in every single thing. She needs to become a bit more laid back. Baze is just so laid back and so Lux gets along with him more because he's not like the parent that restricts her from doing things. He's always like down for whatever she wants to do so that's probably why she connects more with him but i love lux and baze's relationship like even from the first episode when they met and they were watching those youtube videos that they they're just so cute probably my favorite relationship on the show i'd say oh my god speaking of relationships kate and baze had another moment they hand touched ryan potentially saw i'm not sure maybe he's just peed off about them getting arrested or the party and maybe he didn't see but like oh he was very stern <laughs> and i probably an unpopular opinion but i don't want kate and Faze together i feel like maybe they're gonna be a slow burn like relationship and potentially get together but i don't want kate and Faze together i like the dynamic they have now i like ryan ryan and kate are cute and he's good for her they have the radio show together like unless it's just a they can't keep the relationship together just for convenience. I mean, if she likes Baze, she likes Baze, but I don't want her and Baze together. We'll see later on down the line, but I like her with Ryan for now at least. And I like that the family is separate. I guess it is better for families to have the parents stay together, to have the two parents together. And if they end up falling in love and get together, then, then that is a good like nuclear family. But I think Ryan's a good addition because he's there, he picks up the mess a lot in like episode 2 and episode 4. He likes to be sent into Bays and Larks, like he's kind of there to pick up the pieces. I think he's good for the family. But we'll see where that storyline goes. I still feel bad for him though that he doesn't know that Kate and Bays slept together the day they met again. Like I somehow keep forgetting that that happened and I, every time I do, I'm just astonished that it hasn't been brought up yet like they don't even speak about it bug and tash i felt so bad for them because they'd planned this special night out for her and she completely forgot which is bad enough and then she lied told them she was ill and then they went to bring her soup oh that's just a classic thing they do i've never had a friend bring me soup so that is so nice of them and then bug went off on her in the car and like i get being annoyed about her ditching you but he called her stupid. He said she's not got good grades and stuff. Like, that wasn't necessary. You don't have to insult her intelligence. I don't know how to feel about him at the moment. But I have a feeling that Lux is going to end up getting with the blonde guy anyway. And the turtle races. I love the turtle races this episode. That was so, They were such wholesome scenes. Three-legged turtle. He won above all. We love to see it. The underdog is always the one to root for. I really hope that they actually adopt it or adopt the three turtles. I do think as well though, the other friend in the group, I don't know his name either, I should really learn them, and uh, Kate's friend slash boss, I think they're gonna get together eventually as well. They, uh, they've had a moment in the past two episodes which I don't think they'd be there for no reason. Her husband clearly doesn't appreciate her. He bought her a slanket and there was something else about him she said last episode that he didn't do. I think they don't have sex anymore or something. So she's clearly not got the happiest marriage. But I don't want her to cheat because everyone flaming cheats in shows. 
I don't want her to cheat on her husband because that's not deserved. But if she's not happy, she should just leave him. And if, if they end up getting together, they could be quite cute. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching my reaction to episode 5 of Life Unexpected. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't feel any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for episode 6. Bye!